All right, here we go again. So I'm doing another review on the toner um, microphone, the TD510. Now, I've gotten some feedback. Some people say it sounds really good. Other people say it sounds very low-endy. Um, that's what I thought until I heard it on YouTube. So I really don't know. Um, I do have uh, some filters on it right now. I downloaded uh, a filter um, called Noise Suppression, and I also have a three-band EQ on this thing right now. And yeah, so... Some people say it sounds muddy. I don't know. Um, it's a nice microphone. Uh, this was the Fi-Fi microphone that I was using. That sounds great. Uh, but then next to this one, it sounds very tinny. So I don't know. I, I'm very um, intrigued by this. As you can see, it's right here. I don't know if anybody can see it. This is my face in it right there. Um yeah, so I don't know. I I think it I think it kind of sounds good, but then part of me thinks that it might sound a little too muddy. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna try it out, see how it sounds. Um, other people think it sounds amazing. I mean, it's it's a fifty nine dollar microphone. Tona reached out to me and sent it to me like I had said before. Uh, but I'm gonna try it in some recordings and some videos and see what happens. Um, I don't know. You decide, I guess. I, I think I've decided, but I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Um, we're going to find out. I think it sounds good, but part of me doesn't think it sounds good. Like right now, I, I mean, just saying I think it sounds good, just the way I said that, I'm watching the meter right now um, in OBS, and it's, it's, it's peaking. And I, it just peaks out sometimes. It's very strange. But anyway... Um, yeah, I was going to do a whole intro and everything, um, but, you know, I told Toner that I would do another review of it, so here we are. And I did the whole Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers to see how many pops I was getting off of that. Um, I did get a few, and Toner, 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 I'm getting a lot of teas, um, you know, the the pop, the uh, pop, uh, what do you call them? Plosions, I guess they're called. Uh, the plosions are pretty brutal on this. Maybe if I put a windscreen in front of it, I have one, or a, a, a filter, a pop filter. I have one. I could put it on there. I didn't like having to put one on, but I do have one. So, I mean, I can give it a shot, see what happens. Um, yeah. So, we're going to try that out and see what happens with that. So, um, give me two seconds and I'll come right back. All right, so I have a um, Stedman pop filter on here right now. And let's just raise this up just a little bit. That's a little bit better. I don't like the fact that it's the Stedman's big and it's kind of in my face right now. Let me see if I can move it down just a little bit. Right about there. So Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? So let's see if that actually worked or helped out a little bit. Um, I don't like the way it changed the gain on the microphone. Let's see if I can bring the gain up a little bit. Seems like that's a little bit better. Uh, let's see what we got on the filters here. Yeah, so that might have worked a little bit better. Let's try that. Okay. T two toner tana t t two ta 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 teeter tots. I know it sounds goofy what I'm doing right now, but this is how you test a microphone out. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? Now I mean I don't usually say my peas like that, but I'm just talking right now. Tutti fruity ice cream toner microphone. Um, I don't know Pac Man. Uh, lots of cool stuff. Susie selling her seashells by the seashore and you can buy packs of them for 65 cents or more. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see how that sounds. Um, yeah. So it seems like the, the, uh, pop filter actually works better, um, with it. So I'm just going to adjust it a little bit more. So it looks like the pop filter does work. Um, I don't know. 
I think it sounds a lot better. Um, so I'm going to try that one more time. Uh, I have the gain up pretty much all the way. Um, I think I could put it up a little bit more on the microphone. Let's see. That might be a little bit better. Hey, ho, hey, chicka, chicka, cha. So when I talk, usually I talk like this, um, and I usually do my normal voice. I don't have my in-ear monitors in right now, but I mean, for the most part, this does sound pretty good. So I kind of think we're going to keep this uh, set up for now. Um, I do have the uh, pop filter on, and it does seem to sound better. And I also adjusted the... Uh, the graphic EQ um, on OBS. I added a little bit more trouble. Uh, we'll see what it sounds like. The test that I'm going to find out if it sounds good is when I finally launch this on YouTube. That's the only way I'm going to know it sounds good. In my studio, my monitors are tuned, my room's tuned. So, I mean, I can't really tell. When I first tested the microphone out, I thought that the five fine microphone sounded better, but comparison to this, this sounds more like a professional radio microphone. It is deeper and a little bit more bassy. Um, I thought it was kind of muddy sounding, so I don't know. But um, yeah, so from now on, I, I'm going to give give it a shot, see what it sounds like, and I'm going to let Toner know, you know, that I tried it again, and um, yeah. So for all of you out there who um, you know, watch my channel. Please like and subscribe. Um, check out this microphone. You know, I kind of like inexpensive microphones, although I do have some very expensive microphones in my studio that I used to record vocals and music with. But I mean, um, for uh, OBS or for gaming, this seems to be a pretty decent microphone. So yeah, anyway, um, I hope you like what I did. And I want to see what it sounds like finally on uh, on YouTube. So, like I always say, stay frosty, stay creative. Peace.